Hello everyone, Guilherme Gene is here and our new lesson uh, I want to show you, I want to teach you how we can connect Alteryx to SQL Server and I, I think it's very useful for our day by day uh, connecting our data from the uh, database uh, and let's watch this video so I here already have our beautiful canvas and for for we get connection with the SQL server the tool we, we will use our uh, input data again using this tool we will, in the left tab at the configuration tab we will select this arrow down here and uh, he will show us the options to to options of connections so in our case right now we will select data sources uh, we i already have a video here i i will put it in some place at this video showing how to use the same tool but connecting to excel files so enjoy this video too but returning here let's select uh, some data sources but observe here uh, I already have some recent connections and further you can select these connections again and you don't need to, to make this process uh, again so uh, let's select data sources uh, in the top of this page uh, he, will, he will suggest us the, the frequently used databases and in our case uh, we will select the SQL server and you can select key connect at this, at this step we will configure some connection name so uh, youtube db connection and at the host field we have to select uh, your host where your database are uh, in my case uh, it's in my local machine and then I, I will select the local host slash SQL Express so host slash SQL Express now by authentication, authentication type I'm using the Windows authentication and now uh, you can check the connections and check it's everything working fine it's gonna take a little a little time so uh, once the, the the reloading is finished we can now check if it has uh, connected to our database uh, I think he hasn't uh, check, check it any any database right now but we can try anyway click OK in this case here, uh, it shows us uh, a tab where we are able to create a, a, a queries uh, in the SQL editor tab. Uh, we can check our storage procedure if our database has it. And here he is showing us our schemas in our tables where we we can use to, to create queries or uh, use for other other proposal. Uh, in my case, uh, let me show you. I have a database called an Analytics DB, DB, and I just have one table for now. And are this table where I'm going to to find and create a query inside this tool. Uh, if we check, we can if we make a select here, we can check we have one row. So uh, let's gonna try it here. In Visual Query Builder, he has he has found my table, and I can just select select it here. And in this tab, check uh, as is, as it is a uh, query builder. So based on the columns we are selecting here, he will be building for us uh, the query. 
So for example, I want to, to count the quantity of data that we have in my database. And I will select ID and sort type aggregate. I want to count. Uh, so that's it. I just want to aggregate to count the quantity of IDs I have in my database. Uh, when you select in SQL Editor tab or SQL Editor button, it has filled it for us uh, automatically. And here we were able to, to, to test query too. So, okay, everything's working fine. So that's okay and just hit okay and for now everything it, it's fine and just run button and check what's happened so uh, here we have our our count number uh, but right now i want to show the data all data that we have in our database and let's uh, change this connection let's create another one or uh, let's just change the the query that I, I i want so here let's to the visual query builder i want to select everything i i forget uh, it's not uh, the best tool that we have, but it's it's works. Here, let's select everything. Everything has selected, and I want to remove the aggregation. Okay, sounds sounds good. And he again, look again, he changed uh, the last query and he has created another one. So let's test the query. So everything's fine and it's okay. And run again. So here we have our database from our, our data from our database. Okay, ID2, ID2. Okay, so if, if you like this video, if it has helped you on your projects, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for our channel because this helps us a lot. And uh, I hope you have learned something useful and thank you for watching.